and voter outreach projects. Similarly, on or about April 22nd, the conspirators activated X agents, key log, and screenshot functions to capture the discussions of other DCCC employee, DCCC employee 2, about the DCCC finances, as well as her individual banking information and other personal topics. On or about April 16th, and their co-conspirators remotely configured an overseas computer to relay communications between ex-agent malware and AMS panel, and then released ex-agent's ability to connect the computer. The conspirators refused re referred to this computer as the middle server. The middle server acted as proxy to obscure connection between malware and the DCCC and conspirators' AMS panel. On or about April 20th, the conspirators directed ex-agent malware on the DCCC computer and connect to this middle server and receive directories from uh, direct their directions from the conspirators. This is, um, I am now off the script. I am now off of the Mueller charges against the dozen Russians who hacked Hillary's campaign, the DCCC, and the DNC. I am finished reading. I will not return to this document. I got to like page 13 of 29, so, you know, more than a third, less than a half. And it's just too much. I do... I'm quitting and knowing I'm not returning, feeling like I accomplished what I wanted to. You know, maybe if someone has made it this far in listening, that they'll be motivated to go and find the document themselves and finish it. I have read it myself. I think it's fascinating. And just for example, the news reports introduced this organization, DCCC, Everybody knows about the DNC, and everyone knows about Hillary Clinton's campaign and how they are independent organizations, but what's the DCCC? Now all of a sudden we're, as, as consumers of news, in this position to try to understand what the DCCC is. It's relevant. It's defined in this document. I can't articulate it at this moment, but as I read the document I can say, okay, that's who they are and that is their purpose. I understand it. But it's only at moments like this that someone can. I mean, unless you're an insider, unless you're a DC insider, unless you're a member of one of these organizations, or unless you're one of the criminally charged people in charge of knowing who these people are. In other words, the Russians know more about the DCCC than most Americans. This is not a surprise when you think about it, but it's kind of weird when you think about it. And so with this noisy cleaning machine returning, this is a perfect time for me to stop. Uh, I, I feel like I left out in the intro that I am not here for vacation purposes. I am not in Como because it's a tourist destination. Um, my This is home to my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law. So we are staying at uh, one of their friends' houses or apartments. That's where I am on the balcony of uh, Barbara's uh, uh, balcony. It's kind of like a Airbnb arrangement without being Airbnb. It's a casual word of mouth friend kind of thing. And uh, so that's where I'm staying and I am blocks away from uh, my family home, the, the Miyajima family home. Uh, more closely is Piazza de San Fedele. That's F-E-D-E-L-E, Fedele. And it means faithful, so it's the uh, so very specifically. I'm on I'm on Via Independencia. I am looking east. If I sat here long enough, the sun would come up over that ridge. And if I were to go uh, in the direction I'm looking now uh, 
into the first turn and take a right, which is on the edge of this yellow building, I would be able to see uh, the cathedral de San Fedele. And um, that is the, I'm going to call it the second most famous piazza in this historic section of Como. The first, without question, is Duomo. And uh, interesting, there goes a train. That train connects this uh, lake town with um, Glano Centrale, uh, which is the central station of Milan, Italy. And for like eight euros, you can get on that train, and in 40 minutes, you can be in center of Milan. That's arguably makes this an urban town. This is not an urban town. It is a sleepy lake town. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, a restful night's sleep. Ciao.